Patriots, the deadliest shooting in the modern history of the United States. A radio station run by Daesh in Iraq says one of its soldiers carried out the attack. But there is no confirmation that gunman, gunman Omar Mateen had any links with the terror group and whether he was acting on their orders or alone. Well, here's what we do know so far. FBI officials say the 29-year-old gunman Omar Mateen appeared to have leanings towards radical ideology. Mateen was born to Afghan parents in New York but lived in Florida where he worked as a security guard. The FBI had taken an interest in Mateen twice, first in 2013 after he made inflammatory comments to co-workers and again the next year after he was linked to another American who became a suicide bomber in Syria. Now, his father, Sadiq Mateen, hosts a television show that expressed sympathy for the Afghan Taliban. He said his son had become angry recently after seeing two men kissing in downtown Miami. Well, the ex-wife of Mateen has spoken to the media. She described him as a disturbed individual who abused her during their short relationship. In the beginning, he was a normal being that cared about family, loved to joke, loved to have fun. But then a few months after we were married, I saw his instability and I saw that he was bipolar and he would get mad out of nowhere. That's when I started worrying about my safety and then he, after a few months he started abusing me physically very often and uh, not allowing me to speak to my family, keeping me hostage from them. And I tried to see the good in him even then but my family was very tuned into what I was going through and decided to visit me and rescue me out of that situation. Well, the FBI has clarified 49 people were killed in the attack and police have identified 48. Authorities have notified the family members of 24 of those killed before publishing their names to the media. Most of the victims were in their 20s and 30s. Well, 30-year-old Eddie Justice is one of the victims named by police. It was almost a full 24 hours before his mother knew that his, her son had been killed. The only information she had for hours after the shooting were text messages she started receiving from her son at around 2 a.m. Well, the first thing Eddie said to his mother was that he loved her. Then he told her he was trapped in the club's bathroom and that he was going to die. He asked her to call the police. Well, Eddie was trapped in that bathroom with the gunman. He said he wanted the police to hurry. His, his mother sent several text messages to her son, but never received a response.